So if you have zero over three, that's zero divided by three, what does that equal? So that's what we'll figure out in this video. But perhaps it'd be easier if we started with something a little more familiar, like this. So if you have one half, that means you took one thing, our whole circle, divided into two pieces. And one part out of the two, that's our one half. So that kind of makes sense. That's something we're familiar with. But let's go back to zero over three. So here we're saying we have zero pieces that we divide into three. Well, then we don't even have this. We don't have anything. It's zero. So zero divided by three, or zero divided by any number, that's going to be zero. Think of it this way. Say you had three friends and you had zero dollars, and you divided your zero dollars up among your three friends. How many dollars would they have? They wouldn't get any from you. They'd be zero. So in answer to our question, zero divided by three, or zero divided by any number except zero, zero. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.